you guys I got so much stuff at this estate sale I went to I'm gonna try and go through it really quick this is Flintstones cartoon set it's a color form set and it is almost complete well maybe it is complete there's a couple pieces that have fallen off but it's a pretty awesome looking set I got this dude. He is from Avatar, but not the movie Avatar, the cartoon Avatar. And then I got this doll. Her name is actually Jody. She has a um, cameo. She's supposed to be, I think she was kind of a Laura Ingalls kind of doll. She's about eight inches, so she's about Mego size. And there's like whole play sets and stuff for her and her name is spelled right I grabbed this little book uh, I probably grabbed this more for myself than anything Maurice Sendak I love Maurice Sendak and if you remember Maurice Sendak from like the 70s and the 80s there was um, an album called Really Rosie sung by Carol King and um, this is one of the songs in there I absolutely love it it's one of my favorites so this is an interesting gal. I forget the name of these. I'm going to have to look it up. I'll probably put it down here somewhere. She is sort of Miss Piggy style. She's got fishnet stockings on and a fancy dress. And yeah, most of these things I paid about a dollar for. Some a little more, some a little less. This is um, a... M and F is Myron Frank tested tissue thin blades. So it's like a box of razor blades and people do collect these. This is just 50 blades in it. So people collect more of the, um, you know, well-known Myron Frank is, um, or was a local, um, department store that started here in Oregon in 1856. So these are Dolly Pops and there's probably more of them in here. I don't really know. Here's a bag I paid a dollar for of Fisher Price. Uh, little People stuff. Typically I'm not going to get Little People stuff but this had some more unusual stuff in it. Um, this and you can see here that Goodwill uh, tag this person never um, uh, even opened this bag I don't think um, but this is an unusual couch to find I don't think I've ever found that in some of the other pieces so I think this will still be good but typically Fisher Price little people's vintage stuff just doesn't have the cachet it once did <laughs> this is a fun whole bag of stuff that I have to dig through. There's some My Little Pony, Baby Pony, um, like little necklaces in here. There's um, some, I don't know, little Barbie size. Like, look at those teeny tiny little scissors. I'm not sure what this guy is. Oh, there's some Charmkins in here. So this could be maybe a Charmkins brush. Um, some Barbie stuff. I don't know. So I'll have to dig through that. So this pretty doll is actually from Daisy Kingdom. And she um, has her... This was actually her original outfit that she came in. And then you could buy um, things to um, make her dresses and stuff. Because Daisy Kingdom was very popular for their dress pets, I guess you would call it. Uh, Snoopy Christmas ornament. So we can sell those. And then I have one more thing over here in this bag. Oh, this is a Mickey and Minnie bride and groom porcelain. It's really cute. I paid only $3 for it. I think I can get about $50 for it. So I'm excited about that.
because look at all that glitter. Okay, that was the first bag. Here comes the second bag. This is Louie from Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And he's pretty cute. Needs to be dusted off a little bit. But And I also have this little pet here. It's sort of like a dream pet. Might actually be a dream pet, I'm not sure. But um, these are kind of hit and miss for me. But I paid $1 for it, so I thought I would give it a chance. And it's a cute little Easter set. This is Little Drowsy Beans doll. Uh, she's by Mattel. These came out in the early 70s, like maybe like 71 or 72. And then I have got some, um, lots of dolls at this sale. This was mostly touted as a doll sale. The gal who was having the sale, it, it, it is an estate sale of sorts. Actually, it's more like a retirement sale. Um, but the gal, I know the gal, her name's Kim and she's super sweet. And I always see her at Goodwill and she just buys, you know, finds all the, the, the gems and so I was excited to get a chance to buy them from her um, the company was running the sale but it was her stuff um, here's another Sailor Moon doll these can actually do really well if they're the right ones I didn't get a chance to look them up um, I've sold different ones for about 30 to 40 dollars uh, this is a Steffi face PJ doll, but she's not great. I I was just kind of grabbing, grabbing, grabbing because there were a lot of people there, so I can see now that she's got marks and stuff on her legs, but we'll see what we can do with her. Um, here is a gem doll with some Barbie and the Rockers clothes on and a purse around her neck. And look at that bright colored hair. And then I have, um, I'm not sure who this is. Who is this? Do you know who this is? I'll have to look it up to see. A lot of these vintage dolls, sometimes I just grab them just to see. Um, this is some cards from an old maid game. Pretty sure doesn't look like they're all there, but um, sometimes people buy these for crafting and stuff. So I always pick up Old Maid because Old Maid does very well. Um, and here's another Sailor Moon doll. That's cool. I also got Pajama Fun Barbie. This is actually Nikki. You can see her name up there. African American Barbie dolls seem to go. Uh, well, it says friend of Skipper, which is interesting because she looks like a Barbie size and not really a Skipper size. Um, but maybe she's not. I don't know. And this is from probably the 90s sometime, I'm going to guess. Let's see. Oh, 1999. I think as I've talked about before, uh, some of the Barbies... In the late 90s, um, ooh, this is a 16 or not a 16, an 8 millimeter film. Some of the Barbies, Barbie kind of had a hard time catching up with the times in the late 90s, and so um, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if they're early 90s or late 90s. This um, is called Fire Chief. It's a character, Walt Disney character film. I do have an 8mm projector, so I'm going to have to check this out and see what's on there. Um, let's see. I thought this was pretty cute. It's one of those push toys with a bride and groom on it. And they're, I guess, depending on your worldview, dancing or fighting or dance fighting could be either but I thought this was pretty cute um, 
This is one of those Mycene Barbies when they were trying to compete with um, the brat dolls. And so these actually can do pretty well. This is a, um, I forget her name. Oh, no, I don't. It's a $6 million man, $6 million man. Um, what's her name now? Bionic Woman, the Bionic Woman. Lindsay Wagner played her. Um, and then this is, I believe, one of Charlie's Angels. Yeah, this is a much taller doll than Barbie. She's taller and broader than a Barbie. Even than the gem dolls as well. As I, um, I grabbed this little cruet set. It's like salt and pepper shakers and, and a, a plate there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. It doesn't feel metal to me, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be kids or not. But either way, I guess. And then, um, Fisher Price English Style Writers for the Dollhouse. Fisher Price Dollhouse stuff used to do really well too. It's not as good now, but if you find stuff in mint in box, it can still do pretty well. Um, and I got a little Chucky doll. And I got, I picked these up. Um, I don't know what it is about these. Little girls seem to not open these because I found tons of these. And I usually sell them for $10 to $12. Um, and it is all there, the pieces. They just kind of come out of their spots. Um, but it looks like it's been open, so I can open it and fix it. And then, um, I forget the names of these babies. And this is from the Little Tyke Stall House. And then a... Tropical Splash Barbie. Teresa is scented, it says. So that's pretty neat. And this is from 1994. Look at those earrings. Whew. Okay, on to the next box. All right, in the next bag, I have a grandchild's first Christmas from 1983. Baby's first Christmas, especially from the 70s and 80s, can really do well. I sold one very similar to this that was baby's first for $50. I don't know how the grandchild's first goes. I'll have to check it out. But I saw it and I grabbed it. This is a little Peter Rabbit ornament. Here is a just a little baggie of some Barbie equipment, like from the Rockers, probably. This is a Cabbage Patch Little Sprouts storybook. And it looks like an Alice in Wonderland set. And the box is shaped like a book. How cute is that, right? This is a Rugrats Angelica's Family plush set, still in the box, from 1998. Then we have these uh, Squirt Salt and Pepper Shakers. They are um, like the old bottle of Squirt Soda, which is one of my favorite sodas you don't find very often. And they were salt and pepper shakers. And they're still in the box, which is pretty cool. And then I have a um, Hallmark Frosty Friends ornament. This is 1989, so this is later. These came out starting in about 1980, I want to say. If you can find the first few years of these ornaments, some of them sell for two and three hundred dollars from the 80s. So if you see the Frosty Friends, it's a little 
little Eskimo, and then animals. Check it out. Look it up. Not the teeny tiny ones. They made teeny tiny versions of them, and those don't do well at all, but the regular ones, they really do. Um, here's another film, W.C. Fields Comedy. Let's see, they usually say on the edge what they are. The Great Chase. Huh, I'll have to check that one out too. This is a Strawberry Shortcake Holiday Library. It's actually four different books. Christmas in Strawberry Land, Valentine's, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. They're in really poor shape. But I might be able to... Oh, that one doesn't even have anything inside. Well, crud. I might be able to do something with the pictures because the books are in such poor shape themselves. Which I guess somebody else had that same idea because they took out the Halloween one, which was the one I was most interested to see. But I do have this in my collection as a good set. So... Um, this was, it. well, it still is, but you can't really tell now. It's a Raggedy Ann wooden puzzle. Those are hit and miss and not always great, but I kind of have a soft spot for them. And then this is a fun 22-inch doll. She's very pretty. Um... not sure who makes her so I'm gonna have to look her up she was 350 and if nothing else the shoes I can usually sell these shoes for um, eight about uh, <clears throat> for about ten dollars so um, even if the doll isn't much the shoes will do well although she's very pretty so she's probably someone so I'll have to check her out. Okay, next box here is Huey from the Huey, Dewey, and Louie. There was no Dewey, unfortunately. I just got Huey and Louie. Um, I, I also found several of these um, vintage plush reindeer that I thought were super cute and then oops come on dearie there we go um some little teeny tiny tumbles dolls these are always fun and these are some dollhouse baby dolls there's another rugrats This I thought was really cute. It's a little ceramic planter. I liked the um, kind of plaid little puppy dog there. And then just bunches of these bags where it's like some dollhouse dolls. And this might even be a glamour gal. Um, some... Barbie stuff, like Kitchen Littles even, little, little phones, little baby food. You know how I like all my little tiny stuff, so it'll be fun to dig through all of these. <gasps> A little tiny Cherry 7-Up. I love it. Let's see, what's this little magazine here? Little Barbie magazine. So that'll be fun to dig through. Um, some Barbie babies. This is uh, one of the Disney princes. Look at his outfit. So crisp and nice. I'm going to say maybe Prince, not Prince Philip. I don't think it's supposed to be Eric. I'm not sure who this is. Do you guys know? Put in the comments below. Who is that? Um, uh, some more Barbie Chrissy babies. 
these can do pretty well, the ones with the hair. I will probably sell the two of these for $15, just like this. I might end up putting some of the accessories that I find with them and then get like $20 out of those two little dolls right there. And then these are bigger babies. These don't go for nearly as much, but these are more like toddlers or heart family size. Um, I got I paid two dollars for this. I might get like if I lot them all up together, maybe fifteen dollars for this whole bag. A uh, bunch more accessories, accessories, and more fun accessories. Let's see, what does it say on the side of this? Kool Aid. There's like a little radio. There's a chicken, a dog, some bacon, Fun. Yeah, I think the rest of the bag is mostly um, accessories, some eggs, um, suitcase, actually at another sale recently got um, some other pieces of this luggage set, that's kind of funny. Like a bottle of wine, a record, just a lot of randomness in these bags. Um, some more of the Barbie babies. They'll do pretty well. They don't do as well as the ones with the hair, but I'll still get, you know, put a few accessories with these and I'll still get 15 for them. Um, and then here's more accessories. More and more accessories. Some hot dogs, another puppy dog. These might be a uh, part of some kind of set. I'll look them up, the dogs. Um, lots of foods. I'll put, you know, I'll put some lots together and um, I'll do well with these. Another one. Food, some orange soda. Record player. There's a telephone in there. This is a purse, I think. There's a picture of Huckleberry Pie that goes in the newer Strawberry Shortcake house. That's funny. Um, that is from a 60s vintage Barbie date night set. And I only really remember that because I just sold four of those for $10. Um, some apple juice. Yeah, lots of fun stuff in there. And some Star Wars dudes that I think I was trying to show my sister. And because um, she's the one that really knows about Star Wars and it ended up staying in my bag. Some more stuff. Oh, look at if you remember our video about the uh, Step and Style boutique with the shoe store. That's one of the, the shoe boxes from that shoe store. And there's a little camera. And here's a bunch of like the little Barbie baby accessories. So that'll be perfect. Oh, look at the tiny Barbie. So this will be perfect for um, putting with some of those dolls to get some good amounts of money out of them. A little suitcase. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, some Cherry Mary Muffin miniatures. Some more of the little Barbie Chrissy dolls. Again, I'll put those together and probably do a 15 on those. Some more of those. Same deal. Um, here's some a little kid old doll and you can't see her very well but it's also a flatsy doll in there these are both the newer versions of those but um those maybe get put in a lot and then just more western barbie's hat pieces of cake a blow dryer Yeah, like I said, what I'll usually do is I'll separate out these and um, 
you know, I'll make lots of like kitchen utensils and uh, or sporting goods lots, stuff like that, and usually sell the lots for ten to fifteen dollars. And then here's one more. There's this little shelf thing for displaying something. Suitcase, milk carton, a couple of milk cartons. Um, some workout gear. Hey, there's the other. One of the bags had this um, flipper in it. So there's the other flipper. <laughs> and yeah, like little bathroom stuff. There's a dice with Disney characters on it. And a little box with um, a TV dinner. And that's it for that bag. All right, so this bag has some more plush and stuff. This is by a company called Kamar. They were a Japanese company that made um, plush in the 60s. I don't know if you can see his little tag there. But this is a really fun one. This monkey with a really long tail. And then I got some more of these reindeer. This one has green antlers. There's another one with white antlers. And there's another one with green antlers. Um, here is a vintage Dream Pets poodle. She still has her tag. Most Dream Pets you don't want to pick up unless they are in good shape and still have their tag. And she looks like she might be a little discolored, but she does have her tag. So we'll see how she how she does. Um, this is another deer. Definitely not the same company as those other ones. This is actually a Dream Pets one. Um, but also very cute. This is another Kamar stuffed animal. Now, you can tell that these are older because the stuffing is not soft. It's hard. It's hard inside. And that's kind of where they were at in the 60s with some of the kids' toys is... The stuffing isn't super soft for whatever reason. And then I picked up this guy, Woodsy the Owl. He says, give a hoot, don't pollute. He's been trying to teach kids that since the 70s. And I also grabbed a plush peppermint patty doll. And... Um, this is another Kamar. It looks like a Chihuahua. Super cute. And again, hard stuffed. This is another Dream Pets. It does have its tag. The tag's not great, but it's a burrow and he's got accessories and everything. So that does usually make a difference. Again, I haven't looked up any of these Poncho Donkey. I haven't looked any of this stuff up, um, but, and I didn't really get a chance to at the sale. This is oh, um, a bear who is all turned around for some reason. I'm going to have to fix her, but um, she's by Mary Thought. And these, um, like I said, I, I didn't look anything up. I haven't looked her up. But the last one of these I sold, which was a little version, which I don't know, maybe the small ones go better. But I sold that for $75. Um, I don't know about her or if she's going to go that well. But Mary Thought is one to look for. They're like mohair style bears with the joints. They usually have the five joints, arms, legs, and head. Um, and those can go really well sometimes. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. This huge haul of stuff is going to be a ton of work for me. Um, but I'm looking forward to finding out what all of these things are worth. I know some of them because 
you know, I just have sold them so many times before, but um, I feel like I'm missing a bag. But maybe I got everything. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you would like to see some of those bags get opened, I might do like sort them and then show you. I'm not sure. If you'd like to see that, though, let me know down in the comments. And I will um, see you next time. If you would like to support this channel in any way, you can go over to Patreon. And for as little as like $1 a month, um, you can help support the channel. You can also just go buy something from me on eBay or Etsy. Um, and let me know. If you do, I'll give you a shout out. Same thing if you're a Patreon. I will give you a shout out in the videos. And I appreciate you watching the videos and watching at least one of the commercials before the videos. That really helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.